hello friends i welcome you all to this uh, nptel mooc's course titled psychology of stress health and well being so in this video i will uh, give you an overview of this course so i will basically introduce you what are the concepts and the topics that will be discussed in this course so basically i will address what to expect from this course so this is a 12 weeks course which will have 12 modules so each week will have one module and overall will have about 34 lectures so as the title suggests uh, this is a course associated with the discipline of psychology and it is specifically designed and tailored to understand concepts related to stress health and well being so this course will have overall two broad levels at the initial level we'll talk about the concepts related to stress health and coping strategies and in the next level we'll talk about concepts related to positive mental health and well being Uh, let us see what are the uh, details of this course so in the initial level uh, this course will uh, discuss concepts that are related to stress health and coping uh, specifically we will address following important questions to address this part so the first question that we will address in this course is what is the mechanisms by which our mind creates stress so in this particular aspect we will talk about we will try to define stress from the psychological perspective i uh, will try to see various characteristics of stress psychological stress that we experience and we'll also discuss various processes and mechanisms that are involved in terms of creation of stress in our mind so we'll look into all this dimension in this particular course the next question that we'll address in this course is is there a connection between our mind and body so this is a very important question because mind and body are not separate entities as the research suggest uh, they constantly interact with each other so our mental experiences can influence our body in a very strong way and in the context of stress and emotion we'll try to understand how stressful experiences and negative emotions particularly influences our body and may cause various physical diseases both infectious as well as non infectious diseases so in this context we'll talk about diseases such as heart disease which is very strongly connected to our mental experiences of stress and also we'll talk about infectious diseases particularly trying to by discussing how stress can influence our immune system and particularly decreases immune system and may may promote various infectious diseases so these are some of the things that we'll discuss uh, in this course the next question that we will address in this course is are there any positive dimensions to stress stress is generally associated with negative outcomes negative outcomes in terms of uh, mental you know disorders physical disorders etc but research also suggests there could be some possible positive dimensions to stress in terms of you know stress can promote certain uh, positive aspects like you know, it can promote growth and personal development so in this context we will discuss one particular concept called as post traumatic growth uh, which talks about that there can be positive psychological changes within us after experiencing stressful and traumatic events the next question that we will address in this section is what are the healthy and unhealthy coping strategies for stress management so we'll discuss various healthy and unhealthy coping strategies for stress management so generally uh, people use various unhealthy coping strategies in the sense that these coping strategies are not very effective in long term you know it could be like involved in addictive behaviors you know avoidance strategies etc we'll discuss all these strategies then we'll also address or try to understand what are the evidence based effective coping strategies for proper stress management uh, in this context we'll discuss various levels of coping strategies we'll start talking with physical ways of coping can we cope with stress at the physical level in terms of let's say Uh, research shows by doing physical exercise like aerobic exercises can help you to deal with stress we'll also discuss you know various relaxation exercises then we'll also discuss you know various mental ways of coping by mental ways of coping we basically mean uh, we deal with the stress by manipulating our thought processes because everything is created by our mind so by changing thought processes we can change our emotional experiences uh, because our emotions and thoughts are constantly you know Uh, influencing each other so our positive emotion stimulates positive thoughts and positive thoughts sim- stimulates uh, positive emotions and vice versa uh, we'll look into all these things in this section 
So, in the next level, we will discuss basically uh, the concepts which lies beyond stress and coping paradigm such as you know positive mental health, happiness and well-being. In this context, we will address some important questions and we will try to understand what is the meaning of health, mental health and well-being. We will discuss various types of well-being or various categories of well-being that are discussed in the literature, uh, particularly hedonic concepts of well-being and eudynomic concepts of well-being. We will address specific questions such as what is happiness? what makes us happy? Do we really know what makes us happy? So, these are very important questions uh, that we will address here. We will try to understand the meaning of happiness or do we really know what makes us happy? In this context, we will talk a concept called effective forecasting where research generally shows that we are not very good at predicting emotional consequences or intensity and duration of emotional experiences when we anticipate some future events. So, our prediction may not be very good. So, in that context, we will try to see some of the research findings. The next question that we will address is, can we become happier? What are the barriers in achieving sustainable happiness? So, pursuit of happiness we will see, is it really a myth or is it really possible to increase our happiness, you know? Or are there any barriers to it, such as, you know, genetic influences, life circumstances or can we go beyond all these barriers? Uh, we will also address, are there any evidence based happiness enhancing strategies, activities or interventions. So, we will look into some of the important strategies which are evidence based, empirically supported such as you know, gratitude exercise, kindness exercise, you know, practicing flow, uh, flow experiences, using signature strength, so many other strategies we will discuss here which can promote our sense of happiness. And the last question that we will address in this particular course is, is happiness sufficient for our well being? Is it well-being is just about happiness or emotional experiences or we need to look beyond that. So, we will discuss there are other dimensions to well-being which are also very important such as you know meaning and purpose in life, self-actualization, exploring your hidden potentials, pursuit of you know, intrinsic goals of life. So, all these topics we will discuss and address in this uh, particular course. So, overall this course systematically will address all these issues related to health, adjustment and well-being. Uh, it will review the topics of stress, health and coping while adding happiness and well-being theory and research to enrich our understanding of both negative as well as positive sides of human behavior. So, uh, this course is not just for students of psychology only, uh, students of any background can take it and benefit from it uh, because the topics are very closely connected to our day to day life functionings and our own well-being. So, uh, these are the topics that by studying them, understanding them, getting insights about these topics can benefit from all of us. Thank you.